Let's take this photograph and turn it into an ornament like this for 3D printing. You need a high contrast photo to make this work. This one's pretty good. This one's pretty bad. This one's bad. And this one's extremely bad. Something where the main subject is easy to see is perfect and ideally you'd cut it out. Here's a way you can do that without doing much work or spending any money. It's called photoroom.com. I'll put a link in the description, but we'll have a quick run through now. Go to the free tools, select white background, drag an image in, wait a surprisingly short amount of time and bang. This is perfect for what we want to do, but if you want to remove something else, you can do this too. This example just blows my mind. Use remove unwanted objects from your photos, drag it in, make a brush size, drag it around whatever you want to get rid of, and the results are stunning. Perhaps a bit of a digression, but anyway, let's get on with this. This is the photo I will use, but I have cut off the rest of the body and just using the head. Anyway, let's start. Select everything, delete everything, and let's go. First thing, add a plane. It could be anything, but we're going to use a plane. Now we need to give it some geometry. So we go to the subdivision surface modifier. And then we're going to change this value to 8. Of course, we get a funny circle, so we need to click simple. Now we apply. So if we look closely and go into edit mode, you can see we've got an enormous amount of geometry. Right. Back into object mode, and we're now going to add a displacement modifier. Click on new, and then on this funny little icon over here, and then open down here and select your photo. And you should see your photo horrendously mutilated on your plane. But if you go to the displacement modifier, and adjust the strength up or down, you will get something a little bit more sensible. Something looks a bit like this. You want a fair bit of displacement, so I'll just adjust this a bit more. And there you have it. If need be, you can change the position of this model by clicking on this funny little symbol again. Clicking on Mapping, and then Crop, and then adjusting these little sliders backwards and forwards But I think I'll put mine back where it was. There you go. Perfect. Now you could just plonk this on some other model that's got a flat face and you'd be done. But I want to turn this into a little token. Anyway, the next step is to apply the displacement modifier. If you look closely at the model, you'll see that it's a bit rough, which could cause problems with adding supports, or at least needing them. So I'm going to add a smooth operator, I mean modifier, and just fiddle about with this factor value until it looks good. Somewhere in the middle would be perfect normally. There you go. Again, you may have done this operation on a flat surface of your model, and that's great, but I'm going to make a token. So let's apply this smooth modifier. And now I need to cut away this border stuff around the dog. So go into edit mode, then into face mode, then select a face on the border. Doesn't matter which one. If you select, select similar, normal. Okay, that's pretty good. Most of the faces we wanted are selected, but also some on the model itself are selected too. So if you go down to this little place here and adjust this value, it will reduce the faces on the model that we didn't want. Take that down as low as you can without making the edges of the model too messy. Any dog faces left over we'll worry about afterwards. Okay, looks about right, so let's just delete them all. So now it's probably best to clean up some of the edges. I'll use the lasso select here and select some little islands and then just delete them. Doesn't matter about being too fussy, but I mean this is good. This is fine. This is good enough for our purposes. Quick look underneath. It's hard to see, but some few faces were removed in the previous operation that we didn't want removed. You might just be able to see them here. To fix this, go into edit mode, go in mesh, clean up, fill holes, and that will fix it completely.
Okay, looking good. But if we want to make a token, we have to fill in the underside. I would do this with a Boolean. So add a cube. This cube is particularly large, so I will scale it down. Yep. And then move it into position. And the position is as follows. You want to just overlap the bottom of this, whatever it is we've made. Leave enough jutting out above the cube so that it looks okay. Now select the model or dog and then add a boolean. Select the cube. This looks okay, but if you turn face orientation on, you'll see that there are some red bits and this is not good for 3D printing. So in your boolean, select fast. At this point, you're ready to apply your boolean. And uh, you will find, if you turn off the cube, that you have rather a nice fetching looking token. So here we have an example of a dog on a cube and also this model we've just made on the coffee filter holder it was designed for. If you want to learn more about adding details and textures to 3D models for 3D printing then click the video you can see there on your right and if you haven't already then please subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you.